carbon and its compounds isomerism in carbon compounds hello children you are now thorough with the formation of alkenes and their formula here are the first three members of alkene family ch4 methane ch3 ch3 ethane and ch3 ch2 ch3 propane if one hydrogen atom is removed from the molecule it becomes an alkyl group so removal of one hydrogen atom from an alkane molecule forms an alkyl group for example if one hydrogen is removed from methane we get the alkyl group called methyl group with the formula ch3 the names of an alkyl group member ends with the term il yl so methane will become methyl group ethane will become ethyl group and propane will become propyl group so if you remove one one hydrogen atom from each of these member you get its respective alkyl group now observe these two compounds the structural formula of two compounds are given to you what is the similarity that you observe in these two compounds look at the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms you can understand that in both of these compounds there are four carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atom so the molecular formula of both these compounds is c4h10 but they are two different compounds so c4h10 is butane and this arrangement of carbon atoms in butane can be in two ways either in the straight chain or in a branched chain there is no difference in the molecular formula but these two structures are called as the isomers of butane because chemically they are different So how can you define isomers the organic compounds having same molecular formula but different structures are called isomers and what is isomerism in organic chemistry isomerism in organic chemistry is a phenomenon shown by two or more organic compounds having the same molecular formula but different properties due to difference in the arrangement of atoms along the carbon skeleton or in space that means the two compounds will have same molecular formula but they have different properties and they are entirely two different compounds isomerism is not shown by the first three members of alkene family it is because different structures with these number of carbon atoms is not possible so isomerism is possible only for a hydrocarbon which have four or more than four carbon atoms so for butane there are two isomers n butane and isobutene also known as two methyl propane and for pentane there are three isomers and in the coming part of the video we will learn how to draw the isomers of butane and pentane Isomerism in hydrocarbons can be classified into two types structural isomerism and stereo isomerism they are again further classified into chain positional functional metamerism tautomerism ring chain and stereo isomerism into geometric and optical isomerism for now we are going to concentrate on structural isomerism in structural isomerism isomers have same molecular formula but different structures whereas in stereo isomerism isomers have same molecular formula but they differ in the relative positioning or orientation of atoms in space let's look the meaning of the first three types of isomerism chain isomerism from the name itself it is understood that in chain isomerism two or more compounds have same molecular formula but they differ in the arrangement of carbon atoms in a chain position isomerism in position isomerism the structures have same molecular formula but different positions of the functional group or the substituent atoms can be seen whereas in functional isomerism we can see that the molecules differ in the functional group present in them so in all the types of isomerism they all have same molecular formula but they are different in their structures now let's practice to draw the isomers of butane and pentane so all my dear children please be ready with your class works or your science notebooks let's learn how to draw the structural isomer of butane the first structure is the normal butane 
that is all the four carbon atoms are in a single chain and all are having single bond between each other so the normal butane that we have learnt for alkane will be the first isomer structure of butane also it is known as n butane where n is for normal and its condensed formula is ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 in the second structure of the isomer we take three carbon atoms in a single chain and the fourth carbon atom is taken as a branch while placing the carbon atom as a branch we have to remember that the branch should not be kept or should not be taken for the first and the last carbon atom now complete the number of hydrogen atom required for each carbon atom in the structure so you can see that for the first carbon atom it requires three hydrogen atom for the second one single one hydrogen atom and for the last one three and for the carbon atom in the branch you require three hydrogen atom so the condensed formula structure comes like this ch3 ch2 ch3 and ch3 in a branch now let's learn how to name this compound so let's recall these simple rules first rule is or first step is locate the longest carbon chain in the compound so if you see the longest chain in the structure consists of three carbon atoms so the root word here is prop and since it's all covalently bonded through single covalent bond so the root word or the parent chain name is propane so now actually we have completed the three rules of uh, naming we have found the longest chain we have named the chain and we have figured out that it is propane now look at the branched part in the branched part you have a alkyl group so now find the name of that alkyl group and put that name as a prefix to the name of the parent so the alkyl group here which is joined in the structure is ch3 which is a methyl group so we have to write methyl in front of propane so it becomes methyl propane now still the name is not complete number the carbon atoms of the parent chain in such a way that the carbon atom which has a branch gets the lowest number so here if you number the carbon atoms you will get it as 2 so the branch the methyl group is joined to the second carbon atom hence put that number in front of the alkyl group and you get the name 2 methyl propane so i hope that you have understood how to draw the isomers of butane now let's learn to draw the isomers of pentane as done for butane the first isomer or the first structure of isomer of pentane will be the normal pentane where all the five carbon atoms are taken in a straight chain and hydrogen atoms are distributed accordingly so it will come ch3 ch2 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 ch3 which is the normal pentane or n pentane in the second structure of isomer we take four carbon atoms in the single chain and the fifth carbon atom is taken as a branch now here you can put the branch either in the second one or to the third carbon atom and complete the number of hydrogen atoms required for the structure in the condensed formula also we follow the same pattern four carbon atoms in the single chain and the methyl group as a branch so how will you name this compound the parent chain consists of four carbon atom so the word butane there is an alkyl group as a branch and the name of the alkyl group here is methyl group so put that methyl in front as a prefix for butane so it becomes methyl butane now how will you put the numbering here numbering can be done in two ways if you start from the left hand side it will come as second carbon atom where the branch is there and if you start from the right hand side the carbon atom gets the number 3 always choose the smaller number for the carbon atom where the branch where the alkyl group has come and joined so here we choose the number 2 and hence the name becomes 2 methyl butane this isomer of pentane is also known as isopentane So let's move on to the next structure of the isomer. In the next structure of the isomer, we take three carbon atoms in the straight chain and two carbon atoms are taken as branch. Now as I said, when we put the branch, we are not going to put the branch into the first or the last carbon atom. Hence, here both the carbon atoms come as a branch for the middle carbon atom itself. So if you complete the number of hydrogen atom your condensed formula should look like this 
CH3, CCH3 and two alkyl groups CH3 and CH3 on top and bottom of the middle carbon atom. Now let's try to name this compound. So here in the straight chain you have three carbon atoms. So the root word is prop. It's all single covalent bond hence the root word or the parent hydrocarbon name is propane. In this structure you have two methyl groups coming as a branch. So there are two double methyl groups and when you have two similar groups you have to indicate that in the name using the terms like di, tri etc. So here you have two methyl groups hence the term will be dimethyl. So that dimethyl will come as a prefix of the parent word propane. So you have put the word dimethyl in front of the propane. So now the name has become dimethyl propane. Complete the name by numbering the carbon atom and finding out to which carbon atom these methyl groups have been attached. So here you have two methyl groups attached to the second carbon atom and hence we need to separately show that that there are two methyl groups hence we have to use the number twice. So we put the number as 2,2-dimethylpropane. Now this structure is also called as neopentane. So I hope that now you have understood what is isomerism and you have understood how to draw the structures of or isomeric structures of a particular compound. Here is a homework for you. Can you try to draw the isomers of hexane? Now you know that in hexane there are 6 carbon atoms. So how will you draw the structural isomers of hexane? I'll give you a small hints. First draw the normal straight chain hexane. Then in the next structure take 5 carbon atoms in the straight chain and the 6th one take it to the branch. In the third structure take 4 carbon atoms in the straight chain and take 2 carbon atoms as a branch chain. In the next structure, repeat this method and find out how many structural isomers can you get for hexane. Show the drawings to your science teacher. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and share the video among your friends and family. Subscribe the channel for more videos of class 10 physics and chemistry.